Welcome back to my channel. Ever been mid game or just trying to start up only to get slapped with the stop code critical process died error. But don't worry, we've got you covered. Stick around as we break down the issue and show you how to fix it. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an update. So let's get started. First, we'll need to open the Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool. Here's how you do it. Go to your start menu and type Windows Memory Diagnostics. Once the Windows Memory Diagnostic tool opens, click on Restart Now and check for problems. Your PC will restart immediately. Once you are in the Memory Diagnostics, the test might take some time, depending on your system's memory size. On my side, the test didn't show any errors. Next, we are going to dive deeper using the Event Viewer. In the Summary window, expand Critical Event Type and double-click on Kernel Power System Log and analyze the error details. Read through the details provided in the event's information. You might find clues about the specific process or driver that failed. To minimize the chances of encountering BSOD errors, it's essential to keep your video card drivers up to date. Download and install latest drivers depending on your graphics card manufacturer. We even tried installing an updated version of Windows by downloading the latest ISO directly from the Microsoft website, deleting all partitions and performing a fresh install. But unfortunately, the BSOD issue persisted. We even took things a step further by cleaning the PC hardware and repasting the CPU. But despite all that, the issue still remained. After trying everything, I finally discovered the culprit. I went into my computer's BIOS and navigated to the health status section. There, I noticed that the 12 volt rail of the power supply was dropping below 11.7 volts. That's when I realized something was wrong with the PSU, so I gave it a shot and disassembled my older 500 watt Zelman power supply and replaced it with this spare 500 watt PSU from HP. And guess what? The BSOD critical process died error was completely gone. Here are some additional reasons that could cause the critical process died blue screen error. If this video was helpful, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.